privilege to be able to just soak in the artwork and the talents of one Roger Shimomura. He is a very, very talented artist who is sharing the Japanese American experience through his art. And also joining us tonight is William Liu with Clemson University. Yes. I, I almost yes. said North Carolina, your <laughs> ACC rival. So I had to catch myself there. Yes. I, I could have said Auburn. So, <laughs> in football circles, that that would have been a sacrilegious. So. I'll well, tell you what, let's go ahead and take a look at some more of Roger's art. And Roger, if, if you would, maybe just a sure. detail. Okay. Well, I guess, I guess that was it. <laughs> we only had four tonight. I thought, I thought we had eight. So, Well, if we can maybe just discuss then, um, you know, the central theme of your painting seemed to be, um, you know, again, the Japanese-American experience and everything. So were there, in addition to your grandmother's uh, journals and everything, was there any other form that you took like you know direct inspiration from or did you do like uh, academic research and well uh, I, I think one of the other things that uh, I, I've been concentrating on for about the last uh, five or six years are stereotypes mm -hmm. and a lot of these stereotypes uh, was, were born during World War II uh, such as after after Pearl Harbor well phys physical depictions of Japanese people you know with the slanted eyes and exaggerated buck teeth and mm -hmm. yellow skin and, and so on, you know, extremely unflattering. But these images have a way of coming back. Uh, and uh, they came back in the early 1990s or late 80s during the U.S. auto crisis when uh, Americans felt that their jobs were being taken away by Japanese mm -hmm. people, you know, and when Americans, of course, bought foreign imports, they felt that you know, suddenly the Japanese became the enemy again. And, uh, you know, I live in Lawrence, Kansas, close to Kansas City, and there were a lot of articles that were coming out of the newspapers mm -hmm. about this very thing. In fact, a lot of the uh, uh, car lots were uh, selling automobiles, and, and they had airplanes uh, that looked like these stereotypes of World War II that were bombing people in Kansas City with Japanese import cars, mm -hmm. you know. And so these things have a way of, uh, of coming back uh, again and again, and um, these are the things that uh, concern me. Okay. Well, yeah. maybe just to wrap up, William, we've only got about a minute left. Um, going forward, what, what do you think and what can artists like uh, Roger contribute to future generations? And again, he just talked about you know, the unfortunate stereotypes that his people have been faced with and everything. And How can we change that and how can we educate our next generation of leaders through art. I certainly think that his work is doing that at this particular time, and I've thought about this for a while. <clears throat> and uh, uh, what I've noticed in terms of my own research, and when I, I try to find information about Roger from various sources, is that his work and his person are uh, becoming parts of curricula in uh, Japanese American studies and especially in California, a number of schools have used his works um, in Washington as well. Uh, not so much in the Midwest at this particular time we're in South Carolina, yeah. but his time will come. But certainly I think the statement that he makes really is very Im important for all of us. Yeah. It really has to do with the diversity that, that um, we experience in our country. So. All right, well, gentlemen, thank you so much for being here, Roger. An extreme pleasure. It was very, very nice Thank to meet you. you. And please keep up the excellent work. It's much appreciated by people here, and I'm sure many people locally will have a very nice time meeting you. Thank you. And I had no idea you were from Lawrence, Kansas, another great basketball town. Absolutely. <laughs> if you were a college basketball fan, yeah. this episode of KUM News Extra surely was delightful for you. I know it was for me. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Jason Salas, and we'll see you next time.